So hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in this video I'm going to tell you how to install Windows 11 on your system. So the first thing you have to do is basically install the PC Health Check app so that you can check that if your PC uh, PC or device meets the minimum system requirements or required for Windows 11. So if you click on this link, now you will notice that uh, it will be something like this at initially and this does not look like a PC Hill Check app installation or something. But just scroll all the way down and you'll see a uh, check for compatibility and you can you also get a button right here to download the PC Hill Check app. Just click on it and it, and this MSI file will be downloaded on your system. It's 13 MB only so it's not much big of a deal. You can just click on this to uh, install this on your PC. And after you've actually done that you can just open the PC Hill Check app and this is the PC Health Check app. So uh, at the very top, you'll find introducing Windows 11 and uh, to this, this button will actually check that if your PC actually meets the minimum system requirements. And yeah, my PC does. If your PC does not, then do check uh, that if the TPM 2.0 is enabled or if it is even supported by your system because TPM 2.0 is required by Windows 11. And there's the major flaw, there's the major uh, disadvantage of Windows 11 uh, that it requires TPM 2.0 because many people don't have TPM 2.0 today uh, because it was actually I think it was like I've heard that it was introduced like four uh, about four years ago. All right, so after you actually checked uh, your uh, minimum system requirements uh, from the PC Health Check app, and it's necessary to actually check from the PC Health Check app. Because if you don't, then you will not be able to install Windows 11 on your machine. Alright, so now you've got these three options right here. The ones you are going to talk about are this one and this one. This is not uh, really necessary uh, for now and many people, I don't think they really use this. But if you want to perform a reinstall or clean install of Windows 11 or new or used PC, then this option right here can uh, help you to create uh, a bootable drive for your system which uh, many people don't really use today okay so the windows 11 installation assistant is the best way today to install windows 11 and the second one uh, is the iso of course so to install the windows 11 installation assistant you have to just simply click on this of course you might have guessed and then it will actually uh, download a file i guess it's 4 mb uh, i guess it's like 4 mb and it's not now these two files are not really large so you can just simply download them now you might think that the entire windows 11 operating system is in this file no it's not and this uh, this assistant will actually install windows 11 on your system and actually download it on your system and then install it on your machine so it may take a bit of a while uh, I think it's kind of like a 4GB, a 4GB download of the Windows 11 files itself. Okay, so uh, now if you want actually an iOS, ISO directly, then you can uh, come down to the third option right here and you can uh, select Windows 11 from here and download it. And then you have to select one language out of all this, for example, English, confirm. Now, a link will be made for you. The 64 bit download, uh, this is a link that's made specially for you. And this link will expire, um, it's un expire under 24 hours from the time of creation. So it starts from uh, the moment you actually click on uh, the confirm button after selecting the language, that's time it will start. So you can just simply click on this button right here and start installing the ISO, which I don't really want right now. Alright, so that's how you actually install Windows 11 on your machine. If you like the video, then consider subscribing to the channel and also like this video as well. Thanks everybody.